Welcome back to Trends and Friends. The folks from Lubbock Meals on Wheels have a fundraiser going on here to tell us all about it. Our Lisa Carson and Brittany Clemmy ladies. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much Thank for having you. us. Of course. It's all for a great cause. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a lot of fun too, hanging out with everyone and collecting things. So Brittany, kind of tell us what this is all about. Yeah, so Saturday, this this Saturday, hopefully it doesn't rain. Um, from 10 until 4 p.m., we will be out at three different Walmarts in the Lubbock community. Um, 114th in Quaker, 82nd in Milwaukee, and Loop 2 89 in Quaker okay. um, and we'll just be collecting food for our um, Lubbock Meals on Wheels weekend sack drive that we have going on. Um, we serve 250 people currently on that weekend sack list through Lubbock Meals on Wheels so it's very important that we have those people come out and donate. Right mm -hmm. exactly and Lisa tell us a little bit about uh, why Comfort Keepers wanted to get involved in the fun and what y'all do. Well I have been a volunteer for Meals on Wheels for almost 25 years mm -hmm. and we just went to them and said what can we do to help they had about 50 people mm -hmm. on the program when we started and now it's grown to 250 people Love so that. we need more food yeah. all the time and it they get one frozen meal that goes out for Meals on Wheels and then 10 to 12 of the items that we gather this weekend all the month of September really but this is our what we call our Walmart Saturday. Right, mm -hmm. this is the big one, right? Yes. This, this is, is the, the doozy. Yes. If anyone is wanting to donate, let's go through some of these items, Brittany, okay. and what people should be donating. Yeah, so basically anybody can donate mostly shelf-stable items. We right. ask that they are all um, something that we can continue to have on our shelves for just a little while. That will last a long time because um, some of them won't be able to eat it all within the weekend, so right. they can last it throughout the week as well. So just kind of stuff like granola bars, um, peanut butter crackers, cereal boxes, the little miniature ones. We ask for apple juice, orange juice, different kind of um, things along those lines and we also ask for canned soup as well. Okay, so drinks, snacks, something that can be made into mm -hmm. lunch or dinner yes. uh, all the way around. Okay, if anyone really isn't familiar with Lubbock Meals on Wheels and what you guys are and what you do in Lubbock. There's a lot more than just besides this program. Yes. So tell me about everything that y'all do. Yeah, so Lubbock Meals on Wheels um, currently serves over 800 clients in the Lubbock community who are elderly, disabled, and homebound. Um, anyone who can't necessarily get out of their home driven to, um, or basically only get out of their home for doctor's appointments and stuff like that. So we're able to serve them a hot, nutritious lunch um, each day during the lunch hour. And so this weekend, sex also help provide them um, meals throughout the weekend when we don't deliver. Okay, and Lisa, if anyone maybe doesn't have time or can't do anything this weekend, but they still want to raise food, still want to do a drive, is there any way they can do that? Absolutely. They can go to our website or to Meals on Wheels website and even donate online, or you can order your food to be ship to Meals on Wheels if Look you order that. from Amazon. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So all you have to do is buy the food. Exactly. That's technology, That's right? right? It's the easiest <laughs> and, way to do it. And they can always use money because money doesn't expire. All right. So That's it takes good. about $15 for one of the meal bags to go out for the weekend. So that'll give you a reference point. Love mm -hmm. that, Brittany. If anyone is looking for more information or wants to donate, where can they find that? And they can go to LubbockMealsOnWheels.org or they can just always call our office. All right, ladies. Thank you very much. A lot of great information and a great way to help out some local members of the community. Up next, how you can get in a great exercise and help out High Point Village after the break.